guys. <clears throat> Wedge Die Games. Wormwood Studios. Primordia. Ah, uh, love me some Wedge Die. I don't know shit about this game. Other than I think I might have bought it twice. <laughs> it was just a couple bucks. Don't at me. Anyway, so we're going to play in English. Let's just go ahead and jump right in, y'all. What is that thing? It's like a refrigerator with arms. Almost there. One more setting. One more piece of the unique is operational. One down, one million to go. Speaking of which, boss, I found exactly none of the parts you wanted. A whole day at the junk pile, and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Is it Joey? Uh, boss, are you like Joey. sure you got those settings right? That came from down in engineering. Let's go. There's no time for that. There's no time for that. That's the way to engineering. All right, well, I guess we gotta go down there. Ooh, that place is so smooth. There's no time for that. That's the way to engineering. There's no time for that. All right, we gotta go right to the hatch. There's no time for that. That's the way to engineering. engineering finally. We're grabbing that, whatever that is. Crispin, get behind me. Who are you and what do you want? Power. I think he wants the power core, boss. Stop right there. This ship belongs to me. Forfeit. Enemy. Wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Yeah. Get away from the power core. Forfeit. This dude's just stealing our power core. Horatio, wake up! Horatio? Oh. Oh. You're okay. What happened? Well, Big Ugly threw you out of the ship. And then he said plunder. Again. And mm -hmm. then he left with our power core. Facade. Yep. How much charge have you got? Ten percent. You? I'll be fine. We just need to get the emergency generator up and running. Or we could just go to Metropole, City of Glass and Light. Free <laughs> energy for one and all. Don't believe everything you hear. Metropole is trouble. True. But if you want to go, you've got free will in a maglev unit. With that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Alright, so we can use Crispin. Okay, so that's not a room tour. More syntax, I think we know how to play. 
You cannot die in Primordia or become permanently stuck. Nice. Your mistakes do have consequences, but these enrich the game with different paths and endings. You can play the game using only the mouse. Point the cursor and left click pressure to walk to a location if there was something to interact with. A label beside the cursor will appear beside the cursor. If you left click on an interaction or hotspot, Horace will pick up an item, use the device, or talk to another robot. If you right click, he will examine the hotspot. Sometimes when you uh, click on a hotspot, that's spot, but they connect, but it looks like hotspot, a zoomed in view will appear. Here too, left and right click function the same way. If you click outside the view area, hit escape, the view will close. If you click left click on Christmas, he will give you a hint, so long as you haven't bugged him recently, he will automatically hint if you have been stuck for a while. You know, they're really if you have been stuck for a while. Okay, that just didn't make sense. If you move the cursor to the top of the screen, a toolbar will appear and here you can select Crispin. Once you do so, you can direct him to interact with hotspots by clicking on them. <clears throat> you can also view an inventory from the toolbar. Here you can select items so by left clicking or examining them, right clicking, close the inventory by clicking or right side by pressing escape. When in the inventory screen, you can use items and click and click. Then I combine them and use tools necessary for the toolbar. You can also add tell you patch to uh, storage and information like codes you found in your adventure. You can also load the map screen, which lets you fast travel to any location you've discovered or visited so far. You can skip a line of dialogue by clicking and a whole cutscene by pressing escape. The game auto saves each time you enter a new room. Finally, hotkeys. Alright. I must have dropped my data pouch when I was thrown out of the unique. Well, let's pick it up. Assad, its memory got wiped. Easy enough to have the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. Okay. The data pouch is registered to me. Salvage the sarcasm co-processor from it for Crispin. Yeah, <laughs> it works great. Nothing worth salvaging. It's one of the unique turbines. The big engine that couldn't. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Now, I'm not a fancy engineer sure. like you, boss, but it seems like the unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on. I can't pick that up. I don't know where the junk pile it's is. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. Well, that sounds like fantastic. Some very sticky grease. I can't some? just scoop it up. Oh, they give us a whole inventory slot just to put that even though it's there. A segment of I don't want to get that dirt. I, I did want to get that dirt. It's the unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. It's the unique's tag. It's the unique's tag. Sturdy cable. Give me that. Where is the emergency generator? It's not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. So why don't we fix it? Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. At least the putty is still good. 
The generator is missing a spark plug. Okay, so we're gonna get a spark plug. There's supposed to be a power bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? <laughs> it's not going to do anything until the Cable's far too long to be useful. I doubt that will happen. The cable's far. It's a day. So how do we cut the cable? A good length of hip. Next time I tell you to fix the emergency generator, maybe you'll <laughs> listen to me. Next time I tell you that I can't fix the emergency generator without arms, maybe you'll listen <laughs> to me. Fair enough. Touche. It leads up to the Unique's main hatch. If only you could have told that to Big Ugly before he decided to cut his way in. All right, let's go check out the ship. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. Well, let me get that. And then we got two segments in. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. What was I thinking, leaving all my lanterns up there? Did you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with that? the maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard-to-reach ledges? Well, that too. What was I thinking, leaving a... We want the large one too? We might want the large one. That's way too big for me to get, boss, and you know it. It's pitch black in there. I'm scared. An old captain's chair. I moved it here from navigation. This is no time for sitting around. I mean, sure it is. A large observational telescope. Without power from the ship, the telescope won't work. Bad timing with those repairs, huh, boss? It's too dark to see the ladder rungs. Well, if it's just a ladder, you just go down. The hatch is unresponsive. The control pad for the deck access ladder. Is it working? Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing <laughs> that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. I'm a floating bomb. Sweet. <laughs> oh, we didn't want to go back up. Bedtime reading. I don't need to bring these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. It's the gospel of man. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. All right, so we got the Bible. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. This is no time for a nap. I still don't see why I don't get a... Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. Uh, boss, were you checking out my bottom? <laughs> this is no time for... 
All right, so what did we, did we get? A cut? For cutting and welding, it can't be beat. Let's cut a little cable off. No need to cut it again. It's a short cable. How would that even work? I don't know. Feudal. I doubt that will happen. Okay, we got putty on a short cable now. That piece of sheet metal really ties the room together, boss. I can't pick that up. Well, try. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Chris would do something with the door. That's crazy talk. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. I'm trying to fix the unique, not <laughs> destroy it. Alright, I guess we do want to leave now. Strange clouds, huh boss? Strange... Okay, so this door doesn't work. The hatch right? is unresponsive. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Does this go somewhere? That's never going to work. How would that even work? I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. Blasted leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? <laughs> no. I've tried patching this. Futile. I don't want to get that dirty. I do. <laughs> okay. I've I've read enough. Hmm, where are we gonna get a spark plug from? Nothing worth salvaging. I can't move this without some. Idea. Why don't we go to the junk pile so you can look for some spare parts? Oh, yeah, we can Am I fast track. Hostility. Hostile? Me? I'm not even armed. Nice. Okay. If that red light went off, I bet the train would start going. Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. Who, me? There's nothing worth bothering with. Boss, just think of all the brothers and sisters you could make for me from all that junk. One yeah. of you is more than enough. I think that's the guy who does the voice in Gemini Rue, too. Looks like an old P2. Or is it a P3? I picked it clean years ago. Endless junk. The tube. 
There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. I can't reach the conduit. Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Still red. Better just to leave it alone. Looks like some kind of lockbox. Looks like some kind of uh, unlock box here in a minute. It's locked tight. It's three pieces of Gordium conduit. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. But I think I'm good. Five segments of Gordium conduit. Feudal. Five sec. Let's see if this works. Spark plug? Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. I guess it was actually some kind of machine. I'm pretty sure it was already dead, though. Pretty sure? Pretty sure? How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. It's locked tight. Well, so is that lockbox. It's reinforced steel. I can't see it. Better just to leave it alone. Yeah, that might be all we need. Let's go back to the eunuch. Just a run of the mill spark plug. I won't leave it running until I can connect it to the unique. I'll need to get a closer look to it won't work until they're locked together. How are we gonna lock them together? Five segments of feudal. It's a data cable, not a power cable. Time for a little welding. Ah! Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. Me too. something to be desired this is an emergency generator Crispin well it was an emergency <laughs> boss it only runs for a few days if that oh well do we have another one no which means it still is an emergency well in that case first dibs on the recharge station so What's All right, let's go bus? turn turn it off. Yeah. We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury. First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In All right, we're going to be there. Can just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those, too? 
I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? <laughs> Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. It's Crispin's log. In order to preserve his privacy and my sanity, I've avoided reading it. I don't need any of these right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Hey boss, what do all these buttons and switches yeah, do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. I've never been able to figure it out. It's pretty great how you can plug this radio in anywhere, huh boss? Too bad there's nothing on it. I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. <laughs> uh, that's everything, huh? Nothing more to do with it. An ancient liquid crystal display. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. It's Crispin's. That's your. I found this in the dunes. It reads: Pound pastrami, canned kraut, six bagels. Bring home for Emma. I found this in the dunes. The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here and an awesome set of tractor treads. I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. The original designs for. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. <laughs> the energy sensor requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. Okay, well, we got the cable. An old rag. Wow, first the power core and now a rag. This is not your day. <laughs> yes. Twisted corroded copper with micro sandwich ceramics. Too bad this stuff is mostly unworkable with a plasma torch. It's an excellent tail. It's just detached. I don't think that would be wise. Some rotted alloy support beams. Terminal. Hey, that one, can we use that one? I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. It needs a plug. A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. I doubt that will happen. It needs a sodium iodide crystal to be useful. A simple computer interface. Okay, so we gotta find that crystal now. They had one around here somewhere. I can't pick that up. Aha! Here's the crystal. Right under our noses! That is, if we had noses. 
Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Chris, mm -hmm. and I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. Potato, potato. A sodium iodide crystal. It pulses when exposed to energy. Well, just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. So we just have to bring things up to this computer and see if it's a good energy source? The sensor is detecting energy at these coordinates. Okay, so how do we go there? 652, 817, 608. The sensor is a, sim a simple computer interface with a socket for connecting its. Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up, oh, I don't know, a radioactive rust monster? A uh? what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb? I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm? Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Uh, it's a video game? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. There needs to be some kind of connector between the crystal. The cable carries the pulse. I don't think that would be wise. I don't think that would... Oh, who's asking you? I don't know, we're gonna know what's called a telescope. Duh! Oh, we gotta remember those numbers? All right, let's go one five nine. Strange. There's some kind of odd device surrounded by glass. Whatever that machine is, it must be throwing off some kind of energy. Why do I not like the sound of this? Did I really get it on the first try? Six five two. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Eight seventeen six oh eight. looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. What was it, 608? That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully.
remember anymore. Six seven one two twelve. More waste. Well, you're the one who loves the junk pile. Scrap isn't waste. If you say so, boss. All right, it's black. Uh, boss, that's because the telescope's pointing straight down to the deck. Oh. That makes sense. Geo coordinates for various locations. <coughs> All right, well, we have got two different choices. We will deal with that next time, y'all. So, don't like it already. Drop us up if you're new.